previously on Strong Bad Email. No, I don't even know. Oh boy, storage device! Don't know why I have to do that every time. I mean, I guess I do, but I don't know, whatever. Alright, so... Oh, right, I don't actually want to load, I want to do a new game, I forgot. Because apparently a new game constitutes as, like, starting on a level that you want, which is kind of weird. So, test chamber 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, all have bonuses. So, we're going to be doing those. Um, I... Wow, okay, I just realized I asked if I should be doing these, like, least amount of whatever things on the Discord last night, and I didn't actually remember to check if there was a response to that. So, I'll probably do that in a little bit. Um, but no, we're gonna go ahead and do the advanced one, um, because these are gonna be more interesting anyway. I'll at least do all of these, and then I might go back and do some of those others if people think they'd be interesting. I don't know, they might be. God, we've still got texture garbage? Why? I mean, I'm okay with this, I like the texture garbage, but I don't know why it's doing that. It's really weird. Alright. So anyways. Oh, that's death water. Okay. I did not know there was death water in there. Probably something worth knowing. Yeah, see, I, I could look in there and there was most certainly some death water. Okay. I should be safe if I drop over there. Let's actually look before we leap this time. Yep. Those graphics look perfectly safe to land on. Okay, so what's my goal here? What does that do? Jesus Christ, the graphics. Also, it's... Eh, I was going to turn off the um, subtitles because it's just going to be stuff like that, but I guess it doesn't really matter. Okay, so I've got a box that I need to reach. I've got a switch. I've got another switch. Uh, let's see. So this does nothing. If I hop on over there, I die. I mean, I kind of figured that was going to happen. But I figured, hey, I'll try it anyway. Alright. Fine, we'll do it the safe way. Okay, does that move the platform? No. What is and a thing killed me, okay. I did not notice the thing bouncing. I should maybe look more than two inches ahead of what I'm doing. Okay, so first task is let's get this platform moving. I assume I... No. Where is that thing pointing? I can't even tell. Not there, apparently. And now it's stuck. Good enough. Okay, so yeah, that starts that thing moving. So now I think I basically want to, like, drop onto the moving platform as it goes by. The thing is, I don't even remember. It's been, like, five whole days since I've played through this game. So I don't necessarily remember what the original version of this level was like. But, uh... Imagine it shouldn't be that difficult. So I want to get this box on one of these buttons. Um, I could... Oh, actually, can I make that jump? Hmm. I, I'm thinking dropping the box into the death soup is probably not the best idea. But, um... Is that a platform that I can land on? Basically, I, need, I either need to jump to this, or I need to, like, make a portal in the wall and then jump in that, but this seems to work just fine. Nope, it does not. Alright, so I'm going to have to restart this level the whole, like, from the beginning every time. No, okay. That is good to know. Doink. Now, that might still work. I don't know. 
I would love to know why these graphics are fucking up, though. I could not have lined up that jump any worse. Okay, maybe a little bit worse, but... Can you believe the level of skill you are seeing from me? Some people can beat this game with, like, no portals, and in less than five minutes, and without using a controller. I mean, I guess keyboard, but still. Um, and then there's me, who just is fucking awful at it. There we go. Okay. Now, from here, I would very much like to get up there. And I also feel like I should probably put the block on that button instead of this one, but I'll take what I can get. Hope this doesn't kill me. Alright. Does that open the door? Yes. Can I shoot through the door? Yes. Do I need to bring the box with me? Probably. Oh, no, actually that was it. Okay. That wasn't so bad then. I mean, I failed at it enough times, certainly, but it could have been a whole lot worse. So is this going to take me to the next advanced level, or is this just going to end? I guess it's just going to end, okay. Well, wasn't that an experience then? So, how about this one? Alright, what do we got? Oh yeah, it's this stage. We've got some, uh, beautiful graphics, of course. First of all, is there a portal surface in there? No, there is not. Which is weird, because it looks like the same type of floor that's in here. Alright, so we want to get a box for that. Not sure what caused you to rise up all of a sudden, but alright. There's a box. Actually, do the stairs disappear? Yes, they do, and that is exactly what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Except, you know, face the right way when you come out. Probably a little bit helpful. Mmm. Get in the frickin' hole. Come on. Okay, so I guess I want to pull back. There we go. And then I imagine I just have to kind of get a energy ball to come out and land on this. So I'll put that there preemptively. That's a blue. Jesus, God. I think these are even better than the last video. Like, this is some serious... Okay, so it's white from some angles, just black, and then it, like, goes through... Oh, then it becomes normal. Then it, like, goes through a bit of a spectrum. Like, just what the fuck? Okay. I really shouldn't be amused by it anymore, because I've seen enough of it now, but still... Okay, so it's not quite as easy as just dumping the portal and all that. I do have to actually do some backtracking. I see, okay. Because, yeah, now I've got to worry about this thing getting in the way. Where'd it go? There it is. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to fire a new one already. That was my own fault. I'm like, where's the thing that's gonna kill me? Oh, no! That's exactly what I didn't want to have happen to me. Also, I should have done this in an earlier segment, and I just never did. But, oh god. Yeah, with, with the glitchy graphics, this is way better than I would have anticipated. Oh, damn. I mean, I'm commenting both on the glitchy graphics and the fact that she has, like, two eyes on one side of her head. The head is, like, cloning itself. That's probably just because I didn't place the portals exactly right, so let's try this again. 
Okay. These should be lined up perfectly. Yeah, that looks about right. What is going on with your eye? I can't tell if that's normal or not. Like, her eyes look really dead and unfocused. Oh, well, whatever. Okay. So let's do this again. Here, send out your frickin' thing. And then... Yeah, this thing explodes really frickin' quick. What the hell? Why? What? What? I didn't even see it. Uh, I'm not paying nearly enough attention. Okay. Let's stop worrying about glitchy graphics and all that garbage and actually focus on what I'm doing for a second. Okay. So. First, let's make this the orange one. So now it's over there. Let's actually make the blue one over here, so it'll have a good range to bounce in. Then as soon as it fires out, we follow it, and we get the hell out of the way, like a smart person. Okay, now we just want to place blue in the right place, and that should, all, that should be all I have to do. That really wasn't that hard. Are we good? Hey, what do you know? I solved a simple puzzle. Let's grab a yonder cube in case it is needed. Oh, no, is that the whole thing? In that case, let's just feed yonder cube. Because it uh, has outlived its usefulness. Alrighty. So we'll stand in the elevator for about 30 seconds until the game just kind of fades to black and lets me out. You know, despite... <laughs> I like how the glitchy graphics have continued into the title screen. Um, despite having uh, proven already that I'm really bad at these, so far they have been pretty easy. I'm expecting they're going to step up their difficulty. Because the levels start getting a lot more complicated. Yeah, okay. This one I never was a fan of in the first place, so... Wasn't there usually a thing that you would, like, go into and... I don't know. So basically what I want to do here is just fall infinitely. And then I'm going to uh, place the orange portal on that surface, I guess. Which means... Let's apparently... Okay, hold on. <laughs> let's stand in one place and try that again. Okay, facing straight up, facing straight down. I shouldn't get displaced here. This should be fine. I just have to hit my hit my target correctly, and we'll be good. Oh, what the hell? How am I missing? These should be lined up exactly... Ugh. I don't get that. It's like... If you're standing in one spot and then you shoot one facing straight up and shoot one facing straight down, they should be exactly lined up. I don't know why they're not. Let me just sit here for a second and see if I, like, fall out of line again. It doesn't look like I am. What if I face a different direction? Does that throw it off? No, see, this looks fine. I just have to hit my target. There we go. Alright. Get rid of this, because I'm a douche. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. Alright, what do we got going on in here? I assume that's my eventual goal. So I want to get Zappy Thing into this thing. That means... I need to get it to bounce through this field. Yeah, that... 
I think the difficulty in this is going to be placing all the portals I need before the thing destroys itself. So I'm going to have to be fairly accurate. I basically, I need to get it to change to this direction, then go through the field, change it again, and then change it again. And I have to be fairly quick about it, so... Alright, it's dead. Let's go. Wait for it to shoot through. Alright, let's go. Get it in there. And... Did I get it? Yay, alright. That actually... I'm surprised at myself. I didn't completely balls that up. And more momentum garbage, all right. But first. For your own safety, do not destroy vital testing apparatus. I'll worry about that room when I get to it. First, I've got a. Oh, wait. Okay, no, I just shoot out of the floor, I guess. All right. Let's get it at a proper angle first. Oh. Oh, never mind, I can just... I'm stupid, I'm like, how do I get up there if I have to place the portal? And I, yeah. Alright. Now... Yay, I fell in a hole. Yay, I completely messed up the whole thing. Okay. I'll try that again. And, wow, I'm uh, really uh, performing well here. Okay, now let's actually do this correctly. All I should have to do is just jump in there, and then... Oh, yes. <laughs> I think somebody tried to call Martin's phone and then, like stopped immediately. And the weird thing is it starts out with a noise that sounds like the Valve like title screen or logo or something, so I was like confused for a second. Anyway, I think I want to pull back when I got when I jump in this. I uh, apparently did not do a good job at that. So instead, let's place it from this angle and this time we should be able to move forward. Um Right, okay, hold on. Go over there. Try this again. And go. And hey, look, it didn't work. I think I'm not doing this right. Um. I would say maybe I have to do, like, more infinite falling to build up speed, but if I do that, I don't think I can place the other portal in the right spot. Plus, is there even a section where I can... Um, yeah, I guess I can from right there. But yeah, if I, if I fall infinitely here, I definitely can't get the portal in the right spot. Let me, uh take a break for a second. I need to make sure that these aren't important messages being left on the phone. Okay, so what am I doing? I still don't really know, but we'll figure it out. Um, I feel like this is the answer. I'm just not getting the speed that I need. Also, there's annoying-ass kids outside, like, bumping into the door, because that's apparently all they know how to do. Alright, um... I'm probably overthinking this. I could theoretically fall infinitely, create a portal here, shoot out, and then, like, as I'm shooting out, somehow manage to place a portal over here, and then another one where I land. But that sounds extremely difficult and not at all like what I need to do, so I hopefully don't have to do anything like that. Let me just try this one more time. Why am I just not moving the correct direction at all when I do that? Like... Let me look at this one more time. 
push forward. Yeah, I'm like, I'm getting them. I'm moving the right way. I'm just not moving fast. Like, I don't think I'm flying out high enough. I'm not really sure how to fix that. Um, oh, wait, actually, hold on. I think that's the answer right there. Let's uh, do that. And then as I fall out, place the second one, and that should actually give me enough height. Right? Does that sound like a thing? Okay, yeah, that, that looks like a thing. I just need to get the right frickin' angle there. Okay, so this is... No, let's just do ceiling. Ceiling's easier. Easier, it doesn't have as much, uh, like, changing of direction. Okay, so I fall. I place the portal, and then I'm gonna assume hold forward. There we go. Okay. That really shouldn't have taken that long to figure out. So this is a puzzle that I've already had to do before. Um, let's look at this again. It looks like I have to fly over there. Because um, right now, this thing shoots out, and I have no way of changing its direction because I can't get a portal over there. So yeah, I guess I just fly over there, and then while I'm there, I just place my portals, and it should get in the right place. So let's see. To get the speed necessary... Is this thing... No, this doesn't move yet. I think I basically just need to fall out of this into a portal, like, a couple times in a row and not die from the laser. Oh, right, the laser's next to me, not here. Okay, that should be fine, then. That is all right. Do something like... Not at all what I... Why did I do that? That was really stupid. Okay. This is more along the lines of what I needed. Okay, shoot your thing. Bounce off the thing. Go in the portal. Placed it in the wrong spot because I'm a dipshit. Okay. Come out of the thing. Bounce into the portal. No, that's still getting a really weird angle. Um, because this is redirecting it 45 degrees. No, no, this is redirecting it 90 degrees. It comes out of this, and it's already at a weird angle. Now, if I... Yeah, that's going to happen no matter which of these I put it on. So, if I... How do I do this? Let me think this through. Um, because I think I pretty much. Um, <laughs> I don't actually know what I do. There, there's probably, like, some magic angle I can find to get it in a non... Like, the non-intended solution, but let me think this out. Um, this is thrilling, I know, watching me try to figure out puzzles. Because um, if I place both of them here, that's not going to do anything that I want, right? What if I get rid of the blue one? Now it's just kind of going haywire, because I think it hit the it hit the thing that shoots it out, right? Let me look at that again. So it shoots, it goes through this, I immediately get rid of the blue one, it bounces... Oh. No, that's right, because it's... Okay, I think what I want to do is have it bounce off of this, go into orange, like, as soon as it bounces off of this, then create the blue portal. Oh, shit. <laughs> Let's let this one die out. Okay, go. No, not what I wanted. Just 
Die out, come on. Alright, let's get a new one going. As soon as it bounces off, blue portal. Now it's still going at an angle. Why is that? Because it's going into this straight. Oh, right, because it's... Hmm. Um... And the problem is, like, there's no surfaces in this side of the room that are level with the receiver other than these, and I don't think I can get it to go out of those into the receiver. What if I do something like this? No, that was not where it was going to bounce. At this point, I'm just kind of hoping to redirect it randomly until I get lucky. <laughs> like... Because there's some weird angles going on. And I think if I make proper use of it, I might be able to get something to happen. But I'm trying to think. So if it goes into this one... It's already moving at a 45 degree angle when it comes out. Which is usually not what I want, but I might need to do that to, like, fix it. Um, so if it, co if it goes through this and comes out of this, is it going to be going straight this way? Or straight that way? Because I think I already tried that. But we'll try it again just to see. Because if this is the solution, then this is... Okay, so yeah, it comes out straight that way. Um, which actually might not be a bad thing. Hold on, where was that ending up? No, that doesn't really work for me, does it? Okay, it goes through there, comes out here, and then it does that and that. And then that's a straight hit. So it, come, it hits this one eventually, and even if I could use that, I could just use it from the beginning instead of sending it through all that other garbage, so that doesn't really help me. What if I put it here again? Oops, not what I meant to do. This just sends it... Yeah, that's like the same result. Okay, um, so let's try this. I'm just trying different combinations of portals at this point. So yeah, that one we've already done. Doesn't really assist me in any way. I'm assuming same thing if I put it here. Because it's going to come out of that at a, 90, at a 45 degree angle. And just kind of go wherever it pleases, so yeah. Um... I can get it moving vertically, but I think once... Did it go in? I wasn't even freaking looking, and it went in. Damn it. So apparently that was right, <laughs> but only through pure luck. Okay, um... I would like to go back and watch that and see what I did. Um... Now that I have the answer, that's stupid, though. Also, how do I get back? I guess just like this. Oh, that's a... Uh, why am I moving at a weird angle? Whatever. Oh, these are quite a bit faster than they used to be. Okay. I don't know. I'm tempted to find out how that worked, but it's going to take a lot more effort to get back there than I'm really willing to bother with, so... Did I even make that? I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, this will be fine. Come on. There we go. There is still more of this level. Alright. Oh, I remember this room. Okay, so what do I want to do in here? First of all, let's get up there. No, first of all, let's get rid of the camera. Certain objects may be vital to your success. Do not destroy testing apparatus. Yeah, so far this looks... Okay, so they got rid of the portal surface over there. That's a problem. Oh, no, wait, they did it in both. They just, they got rid of the portal surface on everything but the ceiling. So you can only get in there from below. All right. Um, so it's like I have to go in there, hit the switch, run out, place another portal, go in there, hit the switch. And then even then I still have to redirect this thing, which probably doesn't give me enough time. Do these elevators ever activate? Oh, wait, they do. But they take quite a while. So I'm thinking go over, point up, shoot portal, go in wall is probably faster than waiting on this thing. But I can use this to my advantage. Hold on. So I already have a portal placed in here. So I can pop out of there, hit the switch, and then run out and do the stuff I need to do. As long as I... Yeah. So what I'm going to do is put the blue one down there, hit that, run out, go in the portal, hit this, and then real quick I need to go boink and boink. And that should be all I need to do. I should probably place this one first, though, because otherwise that might mess me up. Okay, so let's do this. Putting blue down here. See, I want to go through that, and then shoot the wall, and then shoot the floor. Okay, there's one. Go through this. There's two. Shoot the wall. Shoot the floor. Huzzah. See, stuff like that I can do. Stuff that ba is based off of, like, really weird bouncing apparently I have trouble with. Uh, is the next floor the one with the frickin' turrets everywhere? Because I remember that one being really bad on advanced mode. It probably is. If it's not, I'm gonna have to deal with it eventually, so... Whatever. How many are left? Three? Yeah, that's the turret one, all right. Oof. Well, we'll give it a shot. I do not expect this to go well. Okay, yeah, I remember this, because now the turrets are, like, protected. So you basically need to... I don't think there's any way that you can actually interact with these. <laughs> Something apparently said three tablespoons rhubarb on fire. I didn't hear it, but apparently it happened. To ensure the safe performance of all authorized activities, do not destroy vitals. I'm just having fun, don't mind me. And it somehow got messed up. Okay, so what, do I just run past this? Is that all I do? How do I even get past it? I guess like this. Can they shoot themselves? I don't know. Don't really need to worry about it. I can just do that. Sleep mode activated. Completely ignoring this one. 
I know this one starts out easy. Ooh, I'm gonna be making use of some frickin' like beans and stuff, I bet. Okay, maybe not so much the beans. We'll say hello to the beans. Because they are our goal they're they're our old companion. Also, no glitchy colors on the beans. That's disappointing. But um yeah, this stuff not really gonna help me out. Actually, I can probably shove these blocks if I really needed to. But no, I'm just going to take these cubes. Okay. Oh, I thought I got shot. No, nope, that was apparently just a box hitting me in the HUD. Okay. So, how about you? Can I just block your vision? Is that what I'm going to be doing here? Yoink. Nope! I, I think I made a poor decision by placing that box there. Okay, let's get that one back. Oh, no, that's a non-portal surface. Shit. Grab. Grab. Grab! So how do I want to do this? Like I can use I can use these as shields, but not from both directions at once. So wait, I can just drop up on that thing. And then my only concern really is getting shot by the other one. I can maybe use this as a shield though. Let's try that. Fuck nuggets. Hey, it's me. Um. No idea if I'm doing this correctly. I'm probably not. But yeah, as soon as I try to run past this. I can portal over there, though. Um, I just have to get to a surface that I can use. Oof. I could probably just make a mad dash into that room and live, but I assume there's more tur turrets that'll kill me as soon as I get in there, so not really the best idea. Um... I don't know how far forward I can move before this one starts targeting me. Uh, if I, like, move forward and then, like, back away in this direction, it might save me from these two. I just don't know about anything after that. Yeah, no. Okay, so how am I going to do this? I assume the cubes are here for a reason. Like, Can I get these weird crates out of here? I don't think I am intended to, but I'm going to try my best. Let's try that. Let's see if I can at least get one of them out. I can't manipulate these as well as I'd like, but hey, it's something. Um, is it stuck? No, I mean, okay, I'm getting somewhere with this. I will make full use of the shitty Havoc engine whenever possible. Yo, you wanna move? Come on, we can do this. Move. Move better. I think I might have beans it up. No, wait, no, wait, I'm getting some rotation. Come on. And now push. Push. 
do it better. <laughs> this is so dumb. There's no way this is going to help me. Ugh. What is it stuck on? There we go. Okay. So, let's see. Now that I have an additional box, what can I do with this? Probably not a whole lot. It, through some miracle, if I could get this thing to, like, land in front of the turret vertically and, like, block it completely, that would be great. But, let's see. Actually, wait, am I safe if I stand here? Oof, just barely. Okay, let's put it over here. Just give myself a little bit more leeway. We're gonna, we're doing this. Like, this is, this isn't gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. Because as soon as it lands, it's gonna bounce all over the damn place. Like, but let's see. Nope. Oh well. If I'm crouched on that side of the room, it might help me. It might. Actually, yeah, let's try this. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna crouch. I'm gonna turn that way. Will I be protected from both directions? Oh my god, I actually am. It actually worked. I don't know how. It looks like it has a clear line of sight at me. And as soon as I move forward, that might change. But okay. Shit. I think it's just kind of getting in a lucky shot once in a while. Oh, this is amazing. I cannot believe that worked. Oh, shit. No, no, no. Go, 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 go. Damn it. Damn it, that worked so well. Okay, here, just throw you over here. No. I'm not moving that stupid box again. That took way too long. So we're just gonna kinda Leroy Jenkins this. Location. Are you still there? Yeah, this looks about right. Actually, that was probably what I was supposed to do. Oh God, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Um. Guess I could try to land on top of one of them. Hopefully that's a good lineup. And run. Actually, I think I'd... Okay. I am temporarily safe. There's some garbage in there I can use. Oop, gotta use the wrench. No! Nope. Obviously the radio will help me out. And the tiny mug. Didn't I kill a turret with a mug earlier? I remember that being a thing. See you there. Stop that. No. That was not allowed. Okay. Am I 
eventual goal is to get in there and hit that button, right? This frickin' crossbeam of death. Uh, I mean, I've got plenty of boxes, I just have to place them strategically. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just gonna annoy this this turret over here. It'll be fine. Can I stand up straight? No, didn't think so. Actually, putting that radio there was a bit of a poor choice, because if I... Come on, radio, get out of there. All right. If I do this, now I should be able to stand up and still be safe, right? At least in this particular angle. Um. Yeah, this actually covers a pretty good range of motion. Now, as soon as I get over here, I'm in danger. But I can put more boxes in front of it. That way I can at least get closer to that room and see what I'm supposed to do. So, let me do that real quick. I know this isn't, like, the answer yet, but I'm, I'm getting somewhere. I'm just, I'm brainstorming. Fuck. At least that other one can't hit me. Or at least it doesn't seem to be able to. What, which one's hitting me? Like, there's a couple danger spots. But yeah, that one over there doesn't even seem to know that I'm in here, so that's fine. Okay, and here I've got... All sorts of fuck going on. Um, I think I basically need to do in there what I've been doing in here. Just kind of cover shit. Either that, or just drop a box onto the button and hope it doesn't bounce off. That doesn't seem like a good solution. <laughs> Ugh. That is, there's no way that's gonna work. Um. I've got a lot of boxes to work with, though. Um. I mean, I could just kind of carry this in one by one. Shit. Is that you over there hitting me? Yeah, I'm gonna die. <laughs> I like the little voices. Come on. Oh, I am so dead. Yeah, I, I knew it. Uh, how much do I have to redo? Okay, well, it saved I was in here, but it didn't save my protection. Um, I think I'm actually going to call it here. I know this is, like, halfway through a level, but it didn't take that much level, that much effort to get to this point. So I think next time we're just going to kind of start from here, and then I'll reason it out and try to get through it. Um... There's three more advanced levels, including this one, so it'll be a decent enough dividing spot, I guess. Maybe we'll figure out what's causing these graphical issues. I'm perfectly fine with keeping them, but it would be good to know. It would also be good to know if it carries over into Half-Life 2, because I've not really ever played through that game, and playing through it with graphical shit might be actually kind of fun. But I don't know. Whatever. Next time, there'll be, like, pina coladas, or pinatas, or paninis or just porn.